This is a Love Life Horoscope Terror Reading for Gemini from August 6th to August 20th, 2021. Let's get to it. What have we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? Page of Cups. Whoa. Queen of Wands. Exciting. And the Four of Cups. There's definitely a love connection you have with someone. And presently, you may be feeling like there's, there's not nothing coming to you from it. But there is a pleasant surprise here with this Page of Cups. And it's doubled by the Queen of Wands energy. Like this is going to be a thrilling love surprise. It's like this affirmation of love will be coming to you here. You may not be expecting this at all. It's, it's like you're focusing on the negative here. So this will definitely brighten up your spirits here in the next two weeks. Let's clarify this Queen, Queen of Wands energy. This excitement between you both. For them, notoriety. For you, maturity. <laughs> That's funny. So they're going to be doing something notorious. This could, this could cause a scandal. It's, it's, it's almost like that energy where they don't care what's going to happen. They're just going to go for it. They don't care what anybody else thinks. And it's coming to you. It's not like you're doing anything. You're, you're in the very mature energy. So this is something that's definitely coming your way. Before we get to the random love generated questions, let's clarify who this Page of Cups is, this person for you. Judgment could be a Scorpio. And a Hierophant could be a Taurus. So you're either connecting to a Scorpio or a Taurus here. But this is someone that it's like they're they're making this decision, not caring what anyone else thinks, because they, they just need to get out of this box that they're in. It's like their their confines are, are getting to them. They need to they need to get out of that situation. It's like they have to they have to leave something that that isn't serving them, something that is confining them. And on some level, they understand that. That's forcing this decision. It could be traveling. And with the Hierophant, they want a commitment with you. This is someone that's, that's going, it's going to be obvious when they come in. This is going to be an obvious sign of love, that they want a commitment with you. This isn't just a partnership. This is, this is something more. This is a revelation of a truth. This, this is a confession that they're making about their feelings for you. Very exciting energy. Definitely stepping out of their element, stepping out of what's been confining them. So let's get to the random love generated questions and see if they shed some light on this. What does your love interest think of most often when they think of you? Hmm. The fool. So this is all about taking this leap of faith. Ah, seven of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. You've challenged this person before to take a leap of faith. They may have been caught off guard. It, it's something that needed time. But you, with the Six of Pentacles here, you gave them something to think about. And as a result of whatever this is, it's bringing on this judgment, this fool energy to do something that involves 
great risk. It's like they have to put their trust into you. But this is all being fueled by what you shared with them. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles here. For them, Four of Pentacles. For you, Knight of Pentacles. So much stagnation here. This could have been a long time ago. A long time coming. You weren't outright oh, with your emotions. You held a lot back, but you still challenged them. It's I'm getting the sense with this Knight of Pentacles energy that there was there was some sort of dilemma that was that you saw in this person. And and it's like you didn't really tell them everything. You kind of you held back because otherwise it could have been too much. And perhaps they, they know that on some level that you were being, you didn't, you challenged them, but you held back. You didn't challenge them to hurt them. You challenged them to, to take a leap of faith. You definitely held back. But what you said had a huge effect on them. What is the future outlook for this connection at the moment? Ooh, the emperor. Oh, the four of wands. It's the best card. And the chariot. You've given this person a purpose, something you both share, something you're both coming together on. And because of this purpose, because this person knows that they can, they can ride with you, they, they can ride in unison with you and be stronger for it. They're capable of taking on this, this emperor. Whoever this emperor is, is the result of this person being confined into a box. And though this emperor hasn't made themselves really evident in trying to keep this person in the box, this person feels it. And they're making a break through this emperor. The chariot is that force that can bust through any obstacle. And the emperor is that energy here that it's like, it's like somebody who is of influence in their life is not liking this connection between you. It's giving this person too much power. It's giving them too much of an insight of what they could be worth. So this emperor will be placing obstacles or unnecessary demands on your person to try to keep them confined here. But the future outlook is, it doesn't matter. They're going to be getting through this emperor. And you may be helping them do that with this chariot. It's like this chariot is in your energy. So somehow you're both going to take on this emperor together. Let's clarify. Let's clarify who this emperor is because they're still not, it's not, it's not clear to this person that this emperor is acting this way, if that makes sense. For you, tradition. You may have gone through something like this before, so you can smell it out. For them, king of wands. Ooh, that is a deadly combination. The king of wands with the emperor energy. This is someone who this person trusts. This is someone of respect. Someone who, who's very confident in what they say. And because the king of wands is the king of respect. King, sorry, the king of trust. This person would not likely be able to defeat this emperor on their own. 
So it's because you'll be able to, to smell this emperor out because you've dealt with something along these lines. You've busted through the obstacle of this emperor in your life. So what do you need to watch out for at this time? The star card. Nice. Six of cups. Twin flame energy. More twin flame. And the six of swords. Wow. You're going to be going in a direction you, you didn't anticipate. It's... You're going with this person. We got soulmate energy and twin flame energy. So this is someone who... You definitely, this is someone from your past. This love interest is someone from your past. Someone that you knew was your soulmate. They're getting clarification here with this Six of Cups. Twin Flame energy is that funny energy where the first time you meet, the energy is, is, is so unbalanced between you that it causes conflict. It causes, we saw that challenge. So it's, it's like the, the first time you met this person, you definitely felt a difference in their energy than you do with anybody else's because it is so intense. It's from previous lifetimes. But with this Six of Wands here, it's, or the Six of Swords, when this person comes into your life, they are bringing an inspiration with them. Something that you haven't thought of. It's, it's taking you off the course that you were previously looking at before this person came in. So watch out for that. Watch out for this person really stirring things up. On one hand, you'll have to help them with their situation, but they're also coming in to to show you a new way. And it's, it's something that you don't, you don't have clarity on or understanding as to where you're going yet. But this person changes that. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. Ooh, actually, let's use this two sixes. Huh. And today is the sixth. For them, <laughs> the five of swords for you, the five of pentacles, two sixes, two fives. Hmm. There's a situation that when this person comes in, it's like you're. You're leaving, you're leaving an element here. When this person comes in, you're kicking somebody else out of your life. So it's like you're mirroring this person in a way because they have to kick out that emperor. And you're kicking somebody else out too. Somebody that would not have been good for this connection. <laughs> so you're, you're both doing the same thing with this twin flame energy. But this person, this love interest is your star. Whoever this other person is, is, is going to have to leave on their own accord. You see that person in the Six of Cups there. Like, when this person, this love interest comes in, when twin flames come together, people usually leave the connection that don't serve this power. So be prepared for that. Watch out for that. that. There's someone in your energy that also has to go. Someone that you don't necessarily trust. So you kind of, you kind of know, but when they come in, then you know for sure. They'll give you, they'll give you clarity on that connection.
<laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today. Oh, wait. Nope. In the extended, sorry, in the extended, we'll look into what happened that made the love interest act the way they did towards you. So clearly when you challenged them in the past, there was a situation. We'll look into that. We'll ask, how does the love interest view you at this moment? This moment that you're watching this video. We'll ask, is there anything you could do to help this connection with this love interest? Hmm. And we'll ask, what are they planning for the future with you? That will be a good question. Because they're definitely taking a leap of faith. So they have something on their mind. All right. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> that's not it for today. There's an extended. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.